This video is for all of you who live in the US but have parents back home in India. I'm going to talk about all the questions that they need to prepare for in the visa interview and also the documents that they need to carry with them. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find tons of useful videos on the US visa process right from filling the form to clearing the interview. Make sure that you check them out. So let's get started with this video and let's see how you can prepare your parents for the B2 tourist visa. So let's start with the questions that can be asked in the visa interview. And in this video, I'm going to cover two of the most important questions that can be asked to a parent for a B2 tourist visa. The first one is purpose of visit. Now this is the most important one and it is very very likely that the parent will be asked by the visa officer what is the purpose of your visit to the US. And when asked this, the parent needs to state very clearly that their son or daughter is living in the US or working in the US and they plan to visit them for a short period of time to spend time with them and also to do a little bit of tourism. Make sure that they know all the details of your job such as the company that you work for, your designation, the number of years of work X, and also which visa you are on in the US and the details of those visa. Because these are generally the follow-up questions that is asked by the visa officer and it is important that the parent is well prepared for this. And to round things off, make sure that they have a copy of your visa and your passport with them when they go for the interview. The second important question that they need to be prepared for is reasons to come back. A lot of times visa officers have a concern that the parent might overstay you know, uh, their visit in the US or they might not come back at all. And to elevate these concerns, it is very important to show that the parent has a stable life and financial income back in India. Some of the reasons for them to come back could be their career, if they're still working, other children who live in India, uh, long-term investments, particularly in real estate. So if they own land or property, then this should be definitely highlighted and also having a community life and family life in India. So these are the pointers which show that they have a stable life back home in India and they have enough reasons to come back. So if they're not working and they've already retired, they can also highlight the roles that they're playing in the community or in the society by talking about the work that they're doing, say for an NGO or a charity and so on. So as part of this video, we actually have a free PDF which lists all the possible ties that one can have to a home country. So this PDF will help them recognize what are the ties that they can talk about in the interview and prepare accordingly. So do check the link in the description box below to get your free PDF. Next, let's talk about the documents that are required to be carried by them to the visa interview. Now the document list will vary for each person and it really depends upon the profile of that person. So if you want to get a customized document checklist for yourself and your parent, then do get in touch with me over email or over Instagram DM. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the most common and the standard documents which are really, really important for the interview. The first one is a sponsorship letter. So if you are sponsoring your parents trip, which means that if you're going to pay for all their expenses, such as the flight expense, uh, they're going to be living with you and also the expense of staying in the US, then you need to give them a sponsorship letter. And the sponsorship letter has to be given to each parent. So it has to be separate for each visa applicant. We actually have a full video explaining the concept of sponsorship letters, how to go about it, and what are the documents that you need along with the sponsorship letter. So I'm going to leave the link for this video in the description box below. Make sure that you check it out. The second one is financial documents. Now, many times a child is sponsoring the visa of a parent, and that is completely fine. But at the same time, it is also important to highlight the financial resources that a parent might have. This is something which we discussed earlier in the video, and this helps to show ties to the home country and enough reasons to come back. So make sure that your parents prepare their financial documents and highlight their income sources back in India. It could be income from pension, it could be rental income, or it could be income from other businesses or income from investments. Third comes the travel details. Now, when they go for the visa interview, it is not mandatory to have the flight tickets booked or to have all the travel plans, uh, you know, already laid out but it is important to know some details and one of them is a travel itinerary. So a travel itinerary is basically a day by day plan of what they want to do in the US and this is something that they should prepare for. So basically a very simple way to prepare a travel itinerary is to make a table with two columns. The first one lists the date 
and the second list the plan for that day. So try and prepare this itinerary for them for the duration of their stay in the US. Make sure that they carry this with them to the visa interview. Also they need to know details of the address where they'll be staying in the US. So if they're going to be staying with you, then they need to have the copies and details of all these addresses with them. The fourth one is details of your visa and employment. So this is something which I already mentioned at the beginning of the video, but it's really important. So I'm going to stress on this again. They need to know details of the visa that you're on in the US, have a copy of the visa with them and also details of your employment. So your job, your designation, where you're working, what you're doing, all of these things can be asked to them by the visa officer. So ensure that they're prepared for this. So I've worked with a lot of parents and I've helped them get their US visas to visit their children. So in this video, I want to present to you a case study. Now this case study is a real life case study and it is in fact from one of my clients. And this will just help you to understand everything in a nutshell and put things in perspective. And on the screen right now, you can also see the review that was written by this client after they got their visa. So first let's start with a little bit of their background. So they were basically a married couple who were settled in India, they were retired. And they had one daughter who was living in the US and she was married, she had a child and in fact she had just moved to the US about a year ago, uh, I think from Australia. So in their case, the first time that they went for the visa interview, the visa got rejected. And the reason for this is that instead of stating very clearly that the purpose of visit was to visit the daughter, they went about a slightly complicated way of saying that they wanted to go to the US for tourism and also to visit a couple of friends and so on. So in the course of the interview, when the visa officer found out that they in fact had a daughter living in the US, he just found the entire setup slightly suspicious and hence rejected their visa. So we worked with them for their next visa interview. And the first thing that we did was to simplify their purpose of visit. So the purpose of visit was made really simple and it was focused and centered on visiting the daughter and the grandchild. The next thing that we worked with them was to strengthen their ties to the home country. And this was really important since they were retired, so they didn't have a career or a job to come back to. And they also had just one child who was already in the US. So we worked on highlighting their other sources of income, uh, such as income from their rented property, from their investments, and also in highlighting the role that they were playing in the society. So they were a part of a couple of uh, you know NGOs and a couple of charity, and they had some work going on there. So we worked on really highlighting this and bringing it into focus, which showed that they had enough reasons to come back to India. To make the long story short, when they went for the visa interview the next time, the answers that they gave were genuine, they were simple, they were to the point, and they also showed very, very clearly that they had a strong purpose to go to the US and enough reasons to come back to their home in India. And of course, they ended up getting the US visa and I'm happy to report that they were able to visit their daughter and spend time with her and the grandchild. So if you too would like my help in preparing your parents for the US visa interview, then do get in touch with me. You can book a one-to-one -one consultation session. This will be done on a video call and this will help them prepare their profile, prepare their answers and make them more confident. So details of this is in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any more questions, Feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram DM is at shachi.mal. I'll be happy to help you out. Do check out my website as well, shachimal.com, because on this website, you will find a lot of useful resources. There are a lot of free resources, as well as paid ones, such as a DS-160 toolkit, an interview toolkit, which will basically make the entire process of getting through this US visa interview really, really simple. So the detail of all of this is in the description box below. Please go through it and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off till then. Bye.